Social media is a big part of my life and I try to use it in a positive way as much as I can. For me, I use it as a great way to stay connected, stay in touch. Perhaps in the last 18 months, it's been more important than ever. We slow down a little bit and we have a bit of a digital detox. I think first and foremost being conscious and aware that perhaps you're not switching off. I have a few rules and that is daylight before blue light when I wake up in the morning. I make sure that I open the windows or I get outside and I see some form of sun. My other rule is no phone from 5.30 to 7.30. That's sort of family dinner time. I want to be present with my children. I don't just want to be there physically, but you know, my mind is somewhere else. It's just these little things that just allow you to switch off for a little bit of time and, and reconnect with, with yourself and with other people. I think for me, it needs to be one day a week as a social media free day. So I'm gonna make that Saturdays, family day, no device day. I think starting off slowly and building from there is, is a really good way of doing it. And I'm a big believer that October will be a really good catalyst for people. I think it'll just get people thinking more about how they're in a better headspace by spending less time glued to a screen and hopefully it's a stepping stone in the right direction to just reducing things a little bit. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm embracing the challenge with an open mind. Yeah, you won't be able to reach me tomorrow unless you happen to bump into me in the street somewhere.